The cord is a two-wire, 14-gauge cord. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the fence, the blade guard, the blade insert, and the blade. I'll start with the fence. Now the guard. The blade insert is held in place with one screw. And now I can remove the blade. I'll use the wrench that came with the saw, and to lock the blade in place, I like to use a piece of scrap wood. I'll remove the blade nut and flange, and then I can remove the blade. I'll also release the riving knife and lower it down into the saw. Now I can rotate the saw over and place it on its top. Now I'll release the saw's bevel lock and bevel the motor up so I have better access. Now I can remove the switch box cover. With the cover removed, now I have access to the wire connections. I'll remove the white and the black cord wires from the switch. I'll remove the cord clamp. Now I can pull the cord away from the box. I'll remove the second cord clamp on the side of the saw. And I'll remove the grommet and the cord protector from the old cord. To remove the cord protector, I'll go ahead and clip the terminals off the end of the old cord. Then I can just slide the cord out of the protector. Now I can begin installing the new cord. First, I'll slide the cord protector over the wires, followed by the grommet. I want the larger portion of the grommet to go over the wires first. And now I need to install some new ends onto the cord. First, I'll strip back just over a quarter inch of insulation from each of the wires. Go ahead and twist the bare wire. Now I'll slide a new connector onto each of the wires and secure it with my crimpers. And the second connector. Now install the new cord assembly back to the switch box. 
I'll line the grommet with the box. Make sure I have enough cord extending so I can clamp it with the cord clamp. I'll secure it. I'll reconnect the wires to the switch. I'll reinstall the switch box cover. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the cord protector and the second cord clamp. And now I'll finish up by tipping the saw back over and reinstalling the blade, guard, and fence. And that's how you can install a new power cord on your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 